as promised, here is part two of uh, me with the Equinox 800 out in the field on a real nasty bit of ground out at San Domingo Placer area. And uh, we're testing the Equinox 800 on some trash targets and some gold targets just laying on top of the ground. And uh, as a result of doing this two-part video, I've gotten requests already for one with the 600 involved and what it'll do under the same situation. So we'll probably add that on here in uh, the next week or two. I don't know, we'll see if we get the time. But anyway, here's part two of uh, the test with the Equinox out at San Domingo. And uh, it does pretty good for a coin relic machine that also does gold nuggets, folks. Kind of impressed with this little gizmo. This is all metal now we're in. Here's the 10 number point nine. Clearly better depth. Unless I'm in highly trashy ground, I hunt in all metal when I'm hunting gold, my friends. It just makes more sense to me. Yeah, you're gonna hear the nail. All the other crap. We just dig all targets, simple as that. Now we're gonna go into gold two here. And we're just going to do this with this coil. Okay, so off to gold two we go, and we're just leaving it in all metal. Balance. Okay. Ten point nine. Close to a foot. Coming up is a minus six. This is a 3.8. Easily. And I guess we're probably six, eight inches. 13 when I'm close. Minus four now. Minus seven. That's why I don't recommend you use those numbers. Okay, here's the point, 0 0.4. 0 0.2. Don't use the VDI when gold hunting. It's fun to watch it. Okay. Clearly hearing both targets again. Okay, now you notice the shell casing isn't going negative like the gold was. Bottle cap. It's all over the place like they always are. Lead. Should behave very similar to gold. And does. Okay, big gold or lead. Okay, we're hearing that easily. That's a target I would stop and check at almost 14 inches or better. No problem. And our pull tap. Also behaves very much like gold. Dig all targets. Dig all targets. And there's a lot of trash in here in high rocks. You can hear the ground changing. Ground balance. Okay, we're going to keep it in auto. Okay. 
Now you notice, too, this ground is so hot. If I don't move slow, it makes the ground noisy. And another thing about going too fast, watch this. Use it there, but. go too fast you can miss a deep target without any problem at all this is a point zero two or darn it zero point two and that's in gold two we're gonna go back into gold one If you notice, the gold, too, has a little better depth on some of the smaller. And also, I'm going to call a little better depth on the uh, but the gold, too, seems a little more sensitive on the smaller gold. So, there you have it. And now just for grins, we're gonna get out of the gold modes. I'm gonna put this in park one, stock. Leave everything else the same. That's a three three point Okay, we're in all metal. Okay, we still hear stuff pretty good, right? Now we're going out of all metal. Stock setting. Point zero, zero point two, zero point four, the rough one. 10.9. Lose it right here. 3.8. 0 0.5. And of course our trash isn't there now. This nugget's virtually gone though. It is giving me an indication that there's something there that I might need to look at. Small chunk of lead, three ounce chunk of lead. Pull tab, 13, bottle top, and shell casing. Nail, gone. Okay, now let's go up into We're going to skip field because I already know the results there. We're going to go into beach one. Okay, 0 0.4, 0 0.2. Okay, so you could actually use this setting on the uh, Equinox 600 too, to hear gold. This is 0 0.5. Three point eight and ten point nine. That was in stock. Now we're going to go all metal. It actually hears better with discrimination on. 
Okay, we're gonna go up one more. Oops, wrong button. <laughs> we're gonna go up one more in the beach too. That's the 0 0.4, 0 0.2, 10.9, 11.5, 12.5, 13.5, 0 0.8 next to a piece of wire. Lead, big lead. So the beach settings could actually be used to hunt gold out in the field for somebody with a 600, and it'll work. But it's not gonna work near as good as the uh, 800 will in the gold settings. So we're gonna shut it down. I'm gonna put on the six inch coil now, and we'll see how that does. Alrighty, here we are back again with the six inch coil. We are in gold one, stock settings. Okay, we're not in all metal yet. And we're going to listen to these targets now. Okay, that was a point four, point two. And I lose it pretty quickly when I bring the coil up. Point five. Oh, wait a minute. I'm in uh, 40 kilohertz. Let me get back into multi here. Whoops. Okay. Okay. Point 0.2. Point 0.5. 3.8. 10.9. Point 11. Okay, and now we go back over here to our little nugget next to the piece of iron. With a six inch coil, I have no trouble hearing it right there. That would definitely make me dig. Still there, even coming that way. Of course, the nail's gone. There's our shell casing. And our bottle cap. Kind of a chirpy, broken signal. Lead. Same as gold. Big lead. And pull tab. Okay, now we're going into all metal. Try it again. Six inch coil. That's a point four. <laughs> okay, we're air testing granite, but look at that depth. Plane going over. Be right back. All right, the 10.9. Ten inches to a foot in the air test. Three point eight. Good depth. I'm telling you that right now. This old detector impresses me. Point two. Point five. And now. Hear it, wah pow pow, wah pow pow, pop. Searing both targets. Okay, so if you're hunting the right speed, which is very slow when you're gold hunting, you're not gonna miss that gold next to that. Hear it? Quite impressed. And the rest of our junk targets. Big chunk of lead. 
easily at 12, 14 inches air testing. This is all with a six inch coil here. I love this. Definitely two targets there. Um, I'm gonna dig that, plain and simple. Okay, let's go up into gold too. All metal, six inch coil. First our double trash in gold. Zero point five. I'm hearing that little half gram nugget, my friends, in an air test on mineralized ground. Easily at five, six inches deep. Okay, here's a zero point two. About five inches, four or five, maybe a little more. 0 0.4, and remember this is the one that was hard to hear. The bigger coils. So it's clearly an advantage on the smaller stuff with a small coil, which is to be expected. 10.9, we're in gold too still, all metal. Easily a target there over a foot. 3.8. Okay, without the threshold, now watch, pay attention to this target. Hear it? Now, I'm going to turn off the threshold. Down to one. Same target. It's gone. That, my friends, that one's almost gone too. That is why we use a threshold gold hunting and I use one for coin relic hunting too. Okay, we're gonna turn the threshold back up for you here. Now if I had headphones on, I wouldn't be anywhere near 15, but we got the headphones off for you guys, so here we go. Now, same target again with the threshold back on. Now look at the depth difference. It's telling me there's something there by simply bumping the threshold. We lost the other target here without threshold. Same target. Without threshold, we lost it here. Right here. Another couple inches of depth by being able to listen to that threshold. And that's very important. Very, 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 very important. And I don't know how much to stress that. And yeah, I know the Gold Monster doesn't have a threshold, but the Gold Monster has a microprocessor. It's a totally different animal. No way you can compare these two detectors. It just can't be done. It's like apples and oranges like you always hear. Um, the Gold Monster is capable of hearing all these targets at better depth than this machine in my experience so far in the same soil. And will this machine replace any of my gold machines? Absolutely not. It's not a gold machine. It's a coin relic machine with the ability to hunt gold very well, better than any machine I've ever seen that was designed to be able to do both, period. Hands down. It'll do it better than any other machine I've ever used and I try them all if I get the chance. Um, yeah, I spent a lot of time with MindLab. It's simply because for what I do, MindLab is the proper tool for me. And I'd give all the brands a chance, but for my type of hunting and the nasty soils we hunt and what we do out here, 
Uh, mine lab's my huckleberry. That's just how that is. And uh, my friends, this machine will do everything you want it to do in the gold fields and still be a killer coin relic hunter. And I've had a couple people online say, well, it doesn't go as deep as this machine or that machine. Well, it's not, it's, it's not designed to be the deepest seeking coin relic VLF detector out there. Um, mine lab's CTX 3030 will go much deeper than the uh, Equinox in many cases. But it's a totally different technology again. Um, the Equinox fills a niche that needed filled. It's very fast. We'll hear targets right next to iron. Um, no, you can't set it to hunt just silver or something like that because it's just not designed to do that uh, efficiently. And you're still going to find some other targets along with your, your silver. And if you want a machine that hunts just silver, you need to buy a machine that will uh, allow you to do that. Um, Will this machine hunt gold? And would I hunt gold with it? Yes. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go hunt gold with it right now and see if I can get one out of here. And I, I'm just amazed by this machine. And like I said, this was a totally non-professional type comparison. It's laying on top of the ground on highly mineralized dirt. And I was just showing you what the machine sounds like and what the machine will do over different size nuggets and trash targets. And. Uh, Again, this is the big nugget I was using. That's a, that's a good sized chunk of gold there, my friends. And it's real rough and crystalline like that because that was all covered in rock until I put it in hydrofluoric acid and it ate the, uh, the rock off the gold. And this is a 3.8 crystalline piece from up by Wickenburg. You can see the flat spots where the pyrite and hematite um, was. And it's got some quartz in it. And all these other nuggets are from various spots around here in Arizona. And the junk, <laughs> that's custom Arizona junk too, my friends. So anyway, that's it for this little uh, video. It's going to be a short clip. And I think I went a little longer than short on this clip. So for right now, I'm going to call it Nugget Shooter out on the uh, test on the Equinox on gold and trash out in the Arizona desert.